Thank you for the introduction, Wendy. And the pronunciation was one nice. And hello, I'm Sang Wang Hong from Interactive Media Lab at KAIST. I'm going to present AptiSense, a novel touch technique that utilizes the elasticity of the ND vector in contact with the touch surface. This work is done with Eun Seok Chung, Sung Kuk Ho, and Byung Juri. This presentation will be in with this following order. First, motivation. In these days, touch is still the primary input method for modern computers, such as smartphones and tablets. During the touch interaction, we usually use our finger or stylus as an end detector. Prior studies and existing commercial touch methods were focused on utilizing the kinematic variables of the touch phenomena. The kinematic variables are the properties that can be measured directly from the sensor, such as position and force. Various inter interactions have been proposed that allow the use of kinematic variables in the touch process. The first, utilizing ND vector behavior such as fold, shape, and contact area, orientation, and free touch movement. Second, there are studies that attempt to distinguish the type or ID of an ND vector. For example, we can use information such as which user is touching, which finger is touching, which part of the body is touching the touch surface. However, little has been studied about the use of kinetic information in touch interaction. Theoretically, kinetic information refers to information obtained by simultaneously considering the cause and effect of a phenomena. In other words, using kinetic information in touch interaction not only use the value measured directly from the sensor, but also the physical relationship between the values. In other words, existing touch techniques have used kinematic information such as touch location, force, and contact area directly measured from the sensor for interaction. This can be called kinematic interaction. However, some physical information can only be obtained by interpreting the relationship between the measured values from the sensors and is called kinetic information. This, this research aimed to propose a new touch technique that utilizes kinetic information. Kinetic information that exists during touch interaction includes elasticity, stiffness, Young's modulus, friction coefficient, viscosity, and impulse. Among them, the touch technique proposed in this study aimed to measure and utilize elasticity of ND vector in touch interaction. Elasticity is a physical quantity that describes the relationship between the applied force and the degree to which an object deforms. For example, in the real world, when artists want to paint soft line and or want to make soft sound, they use soft material such as pearl brush and the soft drum mallet. On the other hand, they use paint knife or rigid drumstick when they want to make much sharper expression. The elasticity of an object can be described by two measures, Young's, Young's modulus and stiffness. Young's modulus is the inherent elasticity of the material that makes up the object. For example, Young's modulus of aluminum is from 68 to 88 gigapascal. Rubber is from 0.001 to 0.05. On the normal, circumst on the normal circumstance, this means that Rubber shows more deformation for the same force than aluminum. However, not only the property of the material, but also the shape of the object has a great influence on the relationship between force and deformation. For example, given the same force, the aluminum foil will deform more than the rubber ball. As in this example, the ex degree of elasticity that takes into account the shape of an object is called stiffness. Our proposed touch technique, AptiSense, estimates the Young's modulus and stiffness of the ND vector by simultaneously observing the applied force and the deformation of the ND vector. In particular, AptiSense es estimates elasticity by measuring the degree of deformation of an object as a change in contact area. AptiSense can be implemented on the commodity touchpad. First, the hardware. 
To implement at this end, the touchpad must be capable of simultaneously measuring the applied force and the degree of deformation of the anti vector. In at this end, the degree of deformation of the anti vector is inferred from changes in the contact area. Therefore, to implement at this end, the touchpad must be able to measure contact force and contact area simultaneously. The sense and morph, a commodity touchpad, satisfies both of these conditions. We implemented the sense on sense and morph touchpad without any additional hardware. Next, software. AptiSense's software is implemented separately for measuring Young's modulus and stiffness. In particular, Young's modulus measurements are only possible for spherical and apectors and stiffness measurements can be made with any convex shape and effector. First, let's see about the stiffness. In general, stiffness is defined as the magnitude of the applied force divided by the degree of deformation. The degree of deformation of an end effector means how much the end effector has deformed in the direction in which the force is applied. However, it is difficult to determine the vertical deformation of the end effector during the touch process. Therefore, we assume that the deformation of the end effector in vertical direction will be proportional to the deformation of the contact radius in the horizontal direction. If so, the amount of deformation can be defined by this formula. Rc is a current contact area and Rc0 is a contact area when touch begins. And finally, the stiffness of the end effector is calculated with using this formula. Next, the Young's modulus. Young's modulus is an inherent property of the material that makes up the object and should be measured irrespective of the shape of the end effector. It is not yet known how to obtain the Young's modulus of the end effector of the general shape from the contact area and contact force. However, Given the assumption of the shape of the end effector, the Young's modulus can be estimated from the contact area and the contact force. This problem has been extensively studied in the branch of mechanical engineering called contact mechanics. To measure Young's modulus, FD Sense uses the Hertz model, a classical model of contact mechanics. The Hertz model describes the amount of contact area that occurs when spherical object contacts a rigid surface. And for, and for the Young's modulus, the Hertz model can be developed as in this equation. At this time, all over values are measure, measurable from the sensor, but the RE, radius of end effector, is difficult to measure unless it is known in advance. Here, we propose heuristic compensation that sets the maximum value of the contact radius to the value of radius of the end effector. From this compensation, the system does not require prior knowledge of the contact radius in the measurement of Young's modulus, enabling more seamless touch interaction. However, using an approximation of RE makes it possible to measure only the relative differences of the Young's modulus between the ND vectors. However, existing touchpads are not optimized for processing kinetic information, so AptiSense requires two assumptions for more accurate elasticity measurement. First, a sufficient amount of change in the contact radius must be observed. To be able to do this, the shape of the ND vector needs to be convex. Also, for reliable measurement, elasticity should be measured only while the force of the touchpad is increasing. This is because the hysteresis of the measurement may exist when the end effector is released from the touch surface. Altogether, the final algorithm is implemented in this way. Now, start our technical evaluation. For the implemented system, we performed three technical evaluations. The first experiment was contact force and contact area. The first experiment was conducted through the custom-built experiment apparatus. This device can press the touch surface vertically with constant force and speed. 
At this time, the pressing force on the touch surface is measured from the load cell mounted on the end detector. All experiments were performed on five points of the touchpad. The independent variables in the first experiment are contact area and contact force. The ground truth value were compared with the values measured from the touchpad. Six tips with known contact areas were used and the touchpad was pressed with a force range of 0.07 to 13 Newton. The ND vector repeatedly pressed the touchpad for a duration of three seconds. This is the result of the measurement. The x-axis is the ground truth value of the contact force and contact area. The y-axis is the contact force and contact area reported from the touchpad. As a result, touchpad measurements correlated well with ground truth values for contact area and contact force. The second experiment. In the second experiment, the reliability of Young's modulus values measured from epicenter was verified. The independent variable of the experiment were the material and size of the ND vector. Using the same apparatus as in experiment one, the tip was pressed and released for a second and the procedure was repeated three times. Young's modulus value were measured at each pressing. From the result, we observed that Aptisense was able to distinguish the relative difference in the elasticity of soft material from more rigid material. The last experiment was the stiffness of human hand. As participants repeatedly pressed the touchpad by hand, we observed the stiffness value measured from Aptisense. They are asked to press the five positions eight times using four different parts of the hand with two different pressure levels. As a result, Aptisense has reliably measured the difference in stiffness between different parts of hand. In particular, the measurement for the fingertip correlated well with the ground truth value of the fingertip stiffness reported in the previous study. We have implemented two applications that can utilize elasticity measured from Aptisense. The first application simulates the phenomena that the result of the painting expression changes according to the change of the rigidity of the tool used by the painter. We implemented the application using a custom shader to maintain real-time performance. It simulates the phenomena that the color layers is shaped off by the tool. As a result, Epticen simulates the process of shaving paint when rubbing canvas with a rigid tool or mixing paint when rubbing canvas with a soft tool. The second application simulated the change in the sound of the digital drum according to the Young's modulus value of the tool hitting the touchpad. Basically, the application is based on the fact that a sharper force impulse occurs when the drum is struck with a harder material. The existing MIDI-based electronic drum did not change the tone of the sound from the touch. However, Aptisense can predict how the shape of force impulse will change with the Young's modulus values of the ND vector. The convolution between the resulting force impulse and the impulse response of the drum allows Aptisense to simulate the final drum sound. As you can see, Aptisense has successfully reproduced the sound is changed by Young's modulus of the material. We conducted an informal study, an informal user study. Overall, the participants were positive about the varying expressions obtained using ND vectors of different Young's modulus. Thank you. Thank you. Again, there are microphones back there and to the, to the right here. 
All right. Okay, well, I will start with a question and try to think of a question because we have time. Um, I'm interested in the applications and thinking about it from, um, if you think about an artist's point of view or a musician's point of view, how did they, uh, one of the things that you find is that what they're interested in is how it inspires them as well as how it works, right? So there's the idea that you have an idea of a stroke or something in your head that you want to implement, but there's also the idea of putting paint on the canvas and seeing what it looks like and having that inspire you. So have you got an idea of, this is sort of an odd question, but how, how this reacts, how, how, have you looked at how people react to it? Is it inspiring in any way as opposed to simply just imitating real life? Actually, we experienced with uh, the professional artists, our the participants of uh, informal study, they are the, we, we call it experts because more than four years of uh, playing drums or music and also the students of industrial design. So when they doing the informal studies, we recognize that the representation of the natural um, expression is already kind of installed on their instinct. Yes. So without kind of some instruction of the test, they naturally feeling how it works themselves. Yes. So Aptisense is now only to represent the Young's modulus and stiffness, elasticities. But there are a bunch of more some kinetic information. If we can available to transmit that natural physics to the touch interface, that would be super helpful for the create not only creators but also normal users can use the instinct. Right. Good. Uh, Dan. Dan Ashbrook, University of Copenhagen. I'm, there we go. I'm, uh, so this is a good transition to my question. I'm wondering, you've, you've done this with no special purpose hardware. You just took an off-the-shelf touchpad and you were able to get this. Can you think about what special purpose hardware would actually let you go and get more kinematic properties? First, compared with the kind of the MacBook touchpad, we need a high resolution. And second, also need a high speed because high speed and more sensitive the touch force because the sense and more the minimum force is five gram. That means we lost many some deformation at the starting point. So high resolution, high speed would be needed on the future some hardware. Thanks. All right. Thank you very much.